Alrighty, y'all. Happy Friday. It is Friday, March 29th. It is 12 p.m. on a Friday. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to finish the whole video without being interrupted in my house cleaner. I'm supposed to come today uh, and clean the house. Please, that's what the house cleaner does. So uh, that's supposed to happen. I figure by the time she gets there, maybe I'll have time to pull the orders, tell the guys about what's sold, and maybe start packing them and shipping them while um, she's here cleaning. So, um, I sold quite a bit the other day, but I uh, shipped must a lot of it out yesterday because I um, had a big whatnot show. I had a lot of packages go out the door, and then this morning I had to leave early for yard sales and all that fun stuff. So, um, I shipped all my Mercari stuff yesterday. I sold a Gears of War Xbox for 200 bucks on Mercari. I sold that yesterday, and a Jelly Cat a Hot Dog Plus for 25 bucks on Mercari. That shipped out yesterday. And I shipped out, what else I shipped out yesterday? A uh, really good expensive like faucet for $300 on eBay. That shipped out yesterday. And let me scroll through what else. Oh, the other avocado, um, you guys can see right here. It's what we got shipped out. Vintage avocado um, club roaster, sold for 54. Uh, I only sold one of the books. Something I'll offer for bucks for on the books. I still can go to whatnot. That sold. I sold some Bioflex tablets for 40 bucks. And this is the sink right here at the faucet for $332. That guy all shipped out yesterday. But since yesterday to today, I got five sales coming in. So eBay is starting to pick up some steam. I think that's because I am starting to list a lot more on there. Um, yesterday alone, I think I listed 15 items, which is actually a lot for me now. <laughs> Um, used to not be that much, but it's uh, a lot for me now. And um, I, I'm doing a much better job trying to fit in whatnot listings, email listings and editing and like doing other work around the house at the same time so that um, I'm managing to fit a lot of it in. And um, I'm liking how my schedule is right now and I will hope to stick to it. This is what's sold on eBay today. It's a really cool uh, made in Italy, like centerpiece for a, for a table. I think I paid a buck or two for it in Northport. Good morning. It's not my house now. I think I paid a buck for a buck or two for it in um, in Northport last year, and it sold for sixty eight dollars. So we take these. Uh, Garage thirteen. This was just listed yesterday. Uh, this is one of the listings I listed yesterday. Uh, some Croc shoes, women's sandals. I think I paid two bucks for them or three bucks for them. I don't really remember. Uh, garage 13 is going to be in here. They're going to be in here. These guys right here is what they look like. And uh, they sell for about 30 bucks. I listed them for 30. Got an offer for 25. And so I got two or two into them. So I'll take 25 all day uh, on, on those guys. Uh, again, guys, I do want to apologize about the, the lack of consistent content on this channel some people call me out on it and saying you're so far behind or like all you do now is just say you're so busy and you're just doing all these shows and all these things and i am and <laughs> i wish i had more time to go back and do the day in the life vlogs where i can record everything that i do but that takes a lot of time for me to get the camera out every single time when I'm doing something. Oh, let me let me record this. Let me record this. Let me record this. And I just don't have the time for that. I really don't. I just don't. I have so much stuff that I'm doing. I'm running so many whatnot shows. I'm doing so many things uh, uh, all at once. I don't have time just to record every single little thing. So we're going to be doing this for quite a bit. Um, the order pool videos will give you guys an update on my life. We're going to do these quite a bit and then... Hopefully you guys are okay with that because I really don't have time to say, oh, I'm cooking, let me get the camera out. Oh, I'm doing this, let me get the camera out. Oh, I'm doing this, let me get the camera out. Just you guys are aware, I am busy, I'm doing a lot, and we're staying active. These got us yesterday as well, TDK, um, blank cassettes. These got us yesterday because I did a video about them yesterday. Uh, it's coming out on my channel. This is just now, it just came out on my channel. I was like, oh yeah, I bought these and never listed them. They sold very fast. So for 12 bucks, blank media, you guys know how that works. Blank media always sells. Then we got two things from my closet. We got to grab, and that's it. So five sales overnight, though, for me, is really good, considering we had like what three sales over the weekend. <laughs> over the whole weekend, I had three sales. So five sales from last night to tonight. We take that. We are very happy with that. Some of them are pretty good ones. So so we take those in the closet. 
we have a Prince Fielder jersey that sold for fifty dollars. This one right here, Prince Fielder jersey. I got this at a church farmer sale for five bucks. And down here, you guys already know about these. We have an infinite amount of these sexy time corsets. <laughs> I got like five hundred of them from the Amazon pallets. I think I'm selling them for like eight bucks now. Uh, I think I'm selling them for like ten dollars now. So they're Whenever one moves, I'm very happy with it. They're very slow movers, but they're consistent movers. I'm gonna be selling them until the day I die. But I said the same thing about the Thermex creams and the Thermex creams are all gone and all my makeup is gone. So maybe somebody comes in and buys like 500 of them and then I don't have to worry about that as well. But that's it y'all, that's it for today. All the sales, we came back from garage sales, set some really, put some really cool stuff. Got some really nice glass at garage sales. Got this vase, I got this, uh, carnival glass i got this beautiful vase there all this glass i got from last week i'm bringing it slowly to to whatnot or to ebay also bought a ps2 today at a garage sale but it doesn't work so i'm gonna list it locally i actually have somebody coming locally today to, to pick up a ps2 that is broken that i listed earlier this one right here so i'm gonna bring two of them there and see if he wants to buy the other one as well and i got a, I bought a weed today some of these guys and uh oh bmw car mats I've been really good at picking up uh, car mats. Those are BMW ones. I paid 20 for those, but I think they should sell for about a buck 50. Here's the broken PS2. This is what's broken on it. The, the ejecting is not eject properly, but I paid 50, 50 cents for it. So 50 cents for a broken PS2. I can sell for 30 bucks locally. Um, is, I'll do that all day. <laughs> so uh, we went out with, uh, with my friend Nicole here on Nikki's Corner. Uh, we had a great time together. Awesome time picking. My housekeeper, it looks like she finally got here. So we're gonna go give her the tour of the land, tell her what she gotta do. And I'll talk to you guys on Monday. What's good, ladies and gents? Happy, happy, happy Monday, April 1st. Happy on the Monday 1st. We are back here pulling orders. It is Monday already afternoon. It's already 2 p.m. on Monday. And we're starting to pull orders because, like always, we were very busy. Uh, I actually started and ended editing the vlog, uh, not the vlog, the main channel video this morning. I up around 7 in the morning. I started the, the video and I ended it at 10 a.m. and it got released. And after that, I went live on Whatnot and on YouTube and I packed all of my Whatnot orders. They are all packed and there was a ton of them, as you see right here. All of this is Whatnot stuff. It's got a delivery of usps boxes which is great and i have more coming today as well which is great uh i also packed more whatnot orders in here all the stuff is in here is the chocolate that i sold over the weekend the ukrainian chocolate is all there it is going straight to the post office today i want to get shipped out as fast as possible because it's chocolate i want just lying around outside in the heat and with potential for it to melt so we're going straight to the post office of that dropping it off as soon as we're done over here so that's happening so that's happening really busy with whatnot with um with youtube all the other fun stuff had a great easter had an amazing easter with, with a lot of my friends here so um great 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 days here no complaints um we got some sales we got one sale on the car we got two sales on poshmark we got some sales on ebay um just all all good all good let's grab the poshmark sales first Let's do that first. On Poshmark, we sold, actually let's grab, try to grab both. The Poshmark and the Mercari one. We have a Yamaha 9.9V .9 and a Yamaha F40X. 9.9V .9 and F40X. One sold on Posh, the other one sold on Mercari. They both sold for $20 plus shipping, I believe. And the one on Mercari definitely sold for 20 plus shipping. The one on, uh, on Posh sold for also twenty dollars per shipping. Okay, so here's the F40 right here, and then the 9.9 .9 is right here. The F40 one was right at the front because somebody on Macari asked me a message about what year it was from, so I had dug it up and answered the question, and then they bought it. And then the Poshmark one sold earlier. They both sold for twenty bucks. You guys already know the Yamaha manual story. How I paid twenty bucks for a full bin of them. I'm um, I'm been in waiting a profit from the first one that sold for like forty bucks, and then now here are all the stragglers, but they're slowly selling. But forty dollars extra from those manuals, uh, we 
will take that. I accidentally clicked on the wrong thing. I'm going to have to go back and find it. Because we have one more Poshmark sale. It was a Bose remote that sold for $15. That's in the ADH date. And okay. This Bose remote, I think I paid $0.25 cents for at a recent yard sale here um, in, in my area. And this is only for four fifteen bucks, and it sold. So kind of people are asking me now, like, what am I doing with whatnot in eBay? I think this might be a good example. Talk a little bit about it. Majority of the stuff that I'm that I'm finding is going to whatnot. This is the, the remote that sold. But I can't bring like a Bose remote to whatnot and start a buck and think it's gonna sell for anything. It's just some stuff just don't do good on whatnot. That stuff goes to eBay. So for example, like you guys see here, a Bose remote, these manuals, it's not something that I can bring to whatnot <laughs> and flip. Or for example, last week when I saw the Xbox 360 console, I sold it on Mercari for 200 because I paid $8 for it. I can't bring that at five dollars when I pay when I pay um, eighty for it on whatnot and see what it sells for. And you, you'll see other stuff here that uh, that that sell that sold. Um, it's just uh, it just makes a lot more sense for them to be eBay items. For example, the next thing that sold on eBay is this Callaway pitching wedge. So for fifty six dollars, sheesh. Callaway pitching. I have so much golf. I gotta list my golf stuff today. Uh, I have so much golf club stuff that I've just been buying and haven't been listing. We gotta list these, man. If I'm getting 50 bucks plus for them, we gotta list. Here's a Callaway Pitching Wedge. They said, can you please have it delivered to me by the by the 8th? I can't guarantee you that. It's being delivered by the 8th. It is April 1st and I'm shipping out today. I'm gonna drop it off the UPS store. So I'm hoping it'll get there within a week. Let me see where is it going. Let's see if I can put him at ease or not. Um, it's going to LA. No guarantees there, sir. And then I saw another club, Nike Ignite 7 Iron, so for $34. Nike 7 Iron. Um, these, I think, were bought somewhere here in Largo. I think I paid maybe a buck or two for them. And um, let's see, did they sold? Uh, I was thinking about doing an all golf show on whatnot as well, which is all my clubs, because now that's a category for whatnot as well, but we're listing them so far still on on eBay, but majority of the stuff that I'm buying is going straight to whatnot, going straight there. I don't want to check uh, comps or anything like that and, and look at um, what they sell for. Next one's going to John Ben because I don't want to be tempted to like, oh man, this thing sells for 50 bucks on eBay. Let me bring it to whatnot and maybe it'll sell for 25. Uh, again, my point of view right now is just to turn and burn, turn and burn, turn and burn. And most, a lot of the stuff that I bought this weekend on Friday and Saturday is already shipped out the door because I brought it to whatnot and it sold. Now, did, did I get max value for it? Absolutely not. Um, but did I get enough value for it that it made me happy? Yes, yes it did. I think this weekend alone, I made $1,400 on my whatnot show. And uh, my cost of goods for that one the show was, I think, $200. So turning $200 into $1,400 in a weekend, I'm very happy with that. Now, if I listed that stuff onto eBay, there was probably over three grand worth of stuff there. Maybe 35 and before grand worth of stuff. But am I happy taking the $1,400? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So that's my new model. And that works for me, guys. I'm not, I'm not telling you guys to do it. Again, this is reselling. We, do, we all have our own paths. That's been working for me. I've been very happy with it. If you guys are okay with listing on eBay, you guys can continue listing on eBay. This right here sold on eBay for, I think, 15 bucks. Uh, paid a couple bucks for it. Um, that could have been in the future. I think if I find those, they're probably going straight to whatnot as well. But that one was uh, eBay sale. 15 bucks, that's what it sold for, $15. Uh, next, we got some boots in Garage 14. Got some boots in Garage 14. Garage 14 is right here. So, for example, guys, here's my bin of what to list right now on on whatnot that I have to list today. I have a DVD VCR combo, I've got some Jordan shoes, and I got a Bosch um, like nail gun thing. Um, that's, I can't be bringing that stuff. Nobody on, um, nobody on whatnot is looking for a DVD VCR combos or a Bosch nail gun. Now if I was doing like a, a, a two gun show, maybe I would bring that. And I, I paid $20 for that too, and I think it sells for like, 150 on eBay, so I got left. So these are some boots that sold though on, on eBay. I think they sold for 50 bucks. $50 hairs, right? $56. 
Uh, those are vintage Dingo cowboy boots. I think I'm. I think I paid five bucks for those. That was a pretty good, pretty good flip. Uh, inside we have a look at DVD CR combo. One just sold. Um, this one just got listed on Friday because I was doing a video about it on Friday and I needed this a comp for it. So I was like, oh yeah, I did buy that. I never listed it. So this one this sold very fast. Listed it for fifty bucks. I got an offer for forty five. So I took it. Um, I think I paid ten for it. So ten to forty five. Very happy with that. You did that combo. I got perfect boxes for it. So it'll be very easy to pack and ship. And it's only going to Florida, so it's gonna be a very easy ship in indeed. And then you guys saw Jordans in there as well. So what I, what I do with, with, with shoes, guys, is if I buy them at a garage sale and I pay 10 bucks for us for them, I bring them to Whatnot. These Jordan shoes I bought from Whatnot, from uh, from Derek, ATL Flipper. These J's right here. I think I paid 40, 30 or 40 bucks for them. And I think they sell for like 150 online. I can't pay 30 or 40 dollars for them and then flip them back to Whatnot. I can't do that. So, so I, I buy things from eBay and I, and, I, and I bring it. I mean, I buy things from Whatnot and bring this to eBay. Uh, inside, in the Angie resales bin, we got 6N permanent hair color. This came from that awesome, huge squish model buy. A yard sale where I got the squish models, I got the blow molds, I got all the other fun stuff in there. Um, in there was a box full of vintage hair color and vintage perm stuff. Again, that stuff was just listed last week because I did the I did the video for it last week, and uh, I had like seven or eight of these um, hair colored things. They're all been listed for twelve bucks, and the first one sold. Again, another eBay item. I can't bring vintage hair color or whatnot and expect it to sell. That's why I think you can have a fun balance of both of eBay and whatnot and be successful on both. And I'm going to try to to prove prove to people that it is it is possible. And we have one more sale. This is a big sale. Two hundred and thirty dollars sale inside the Part Fifty Six. Part Fifty Six Cathedral. Sold for two hundred and thirty dollars. This was part of that big uh, eighty dollar um, department for six buy. They made a garage sale in Seminole. It's right here. It's this big mumbo jumbo. Um, it was the last one I, I had to list. I, I listed everything but this. Uh, I didn't comp it. If I comped it, it would have been the first one I listed. But I listed everyone but this, and then I did the video for it. And I was like, oh yeah, I still have one I had to list. I went and found it and listed it. I was like, holy moly, that's the best one. <laughs> I had listed for $250, got an offer for $230, and I took it, and it is now sold. So there you go. There we go. There's all the sales. Seven on seven on eBay for over $600, two on Posh, one on Macari. Again, this is now my kind of side money, my fun money. I pay my bills with my YouTube and my whatnot income. Whatever I sell on, on, on eBay is the extra stuff. So very happy having extra $700 coming in from the weekend for sure. I'm going to put you guys down and then pack those things. Alrighty, y'all. It is now Wednesday, April 3rd. It is Wednesday, April 3rd. We are here with the orders for the last day. Another, for me, really good sales day. 10 eBay orders for $600 and then one, uh, one what? Marketplace. Um, what not marketplace order for 90 bucks. Let's grab that one first. Um, it's in garage 12, which is up here. It's the only thing in garage 12. Garage 12 is now empty. So we can put more stuff in garage 12. Make that a mental note, guys, and remind me when this video comes out. Um, it is a miserable day in Florida. Guys, you can kind of see. It's windy, it's rainy, it's cloudy. Uh, this is a bad day for us. We don't like these kind of days. Uh, it's already uh, late in the day. I think it's like 3 p.m. 2 p.m. It's 2 p.m. Um, this morning we woke up, finished the video. We, um, I didn't even tell you what sold. I just put the stuff there and didn't tell you what sold. Look at me. I got this from Harry Tornado on his Whatnot Show for $35. They're on cloud. Uh, on cloud men's shoes. I think 35 bucks is what I paid for them. They sold for $90 on Whatnot. So we take those. Um, it's starting to rain again this morning we woke up um which is great news we woke up that's absolutely fantastic news um finished the video that came out today 
uh, for the main channel. Again, if you guys are not aware, I'm doing out three videos a week on the main channel instead of two. So another reason why I'm super busy is because of that. Um, the, the cost of living here in this place is a lot higher than my old place. Uh, so I have to pay about $1,000 more a month to live here. So I figured I put out four extra videos a month that will cover the cost of living um, increase. So I gotta work a little harder on YouTube, but I'm cool with that. This sold right here. Um, it's a Nintendo GameCube like memory card thing. This little guy sells for 30 bucks. I got him from um, Tucker, Tucker's Treasures on, on whatnot as well. Oh, it's coming down hard now. It was just barely raining, now it's coming down hard. Get my Ikea bag out of there so it doesn't get wet. <laughs> There's Florida for you. There's Florida for you. It changes in a matter of seconds. All right, so that's sold. Bring this in here so I ran my laptop. Uh, Keith inside again. Um, so, uh, yeah, we finished that. And then uh, I got on live on the whatnot to, to pack what sold yesterday on my whatnot shows. I have two whatnot shows every Tuesday. Again, if you guys are new around here, I, I host a garage sale ray train every Tuesday where it's six different sellers and we switch off every hour and raid into it to the next person at the train. And the goal of it is to make it like a virtual community garage sale online, people to go and have fun and, and enjoy different things. So yesterday we had at 4 p.m. Evolving Farmhouse Terry. At 5 p.m. we had Ray Natural Flippers. This sold on eBay finally, $25 for this miniature dollhouse furniture. It's uh, Sonia Messer, that's actually a pretty good brand for dollhouse furniture, 25 bucks for this guy. I paid $6 for him at a estate sale in Orlando with Rod. So we had Terry, then we had Ray. After Ray Natural Flippers, we went to Rosie and Jess, they're my friends from Whatnot. And then we went to Dan, Dan and the Man. Then we went to me, and then we went to Kato Marie. This sold for $35, uh, tap box, uh, uh, Langen Kugel Summer Shandy. Makes sense for it to sell now. Summer Shandy's around the corner, summer's around the corner, so people want summer shandy in their home um, bars and all that stuff. So that's probably why that sold now. I paid a dollar for it. You guys saw that video on the main channel. I picked up 25 different taps for $25. Inside shelf, this gonna take a while to pack. Um, so um, the goal again is to do a virtual garage sale every single hour. So I had my slot from eight to 9 p.m. But I also, because this is my train, I do introductionally kind of like a 30 minute um, whatnot and i tell everybody what is happening who's on the train uh, i pump it up be able to go follow them and all that stuff all the fun stuff and i sell things on my first show as well so yesterday i had two shows i sold things on both shows and then on wednesday i come and i pack what sold uh this sold on ebay i think you guys only paid 10 bucks for this at a garage sale in seminole I believe that's where I got it from. I'm gonna to have to pack the living daylights out of that thing so it gets there safely. But it's gonna be worth it because that lamp sold for $163 hairs. So that's gonna be worth to pack. Speaking of packing, you know, I gotta pack like crazy on two different things today. Antique Theodore Limoges flower thing. I got this at a yard sale with Mel back from burnout when we went to that fake family estate sale. And it was not a fake, it was not a family estate sale, it was a business run estate sale. But I it as a family run estate sale. One of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to garage sales. Uh, but even though it was still a business run estate sale, they did not have a price on this. I asked what they wanted for it, it said $5. I gladly paid $5 for it because it did have a Limoges here at the bottom. And anything that says Limoges on it is bougie and expensive. You just need to wait to find the right buyer for it. He said, uh, I went with Mel and his art sales in August. It is now beginning of April. So almost a full year to sell it, but I paid $5 for it. And it, that $5 started into $72. So we take that. We're here in Garage 9 next. So we went this morning to pack those whatnot sales. My, my parent was giving me some issues, so I couldn't finish packing them sales. Uh, so I only packed the first show, not the second show. And then I went to the gym. I came home from the gym. I'm looking for Crocs in here. I was like, what am I looking for here? I'm looking for Crocs. I'm looking for Crocs, Paul. And I see the Crocs there at the bottom. Oh, I see the croc. I see one croc. Where's the other croc? Where's the other croc? 
show this. So went to the gym, came back home, uh, I, had, I made some salmon for lunch, and then I finished packing all the water orders, which are right there, and now we're grabbing these. After this, I was supposed to go to do like a private pick from somebody here locally. I found them on Facebook, but then I found out really that they know who I am because of YouTube, so that should be interesting. I'm gonna go do that, and then we got volleyball tonight. That's kind of the plan for the day. Those Crocs sold for 36 bucks. I think I paid three or four dollars for them. This thing sold super fast. I don't think I underpriced it. I think I priced it properly, but it just sold super fast. Uh, I got this last weekend when I was picking with Nikki, Nikki's Corner, everyone to a garage sale. I dropped $20 on the Wii with like four games. And one of the games was this one. It was complete with the manual and the case and the game. It was there for $22. It sold for $22 within an hour. So pretty much I'm um, be breaking even after this game itself and I have a complete Wii still and the two or three games, the two or three games are not the greatest, but I'm gonna go in a big lot. I'm just gonna sell all together. Um, so that sold right there. Uh, then Ryan's World uh, Kids Toy Play Chest is actually already here and already packed. It's here in spec because somebody bought it about a month ago from me, but their address was wrong. They never fixed the address. Hope you guys still hear me, but it's coming down hard out there. Look at that. Their address was wrong, and they never fixed the address. So I had to just cancel the order. But I already packed it, so I was like, I'm just going to keep it packed. And uh, wait for somebody else to buy it. So somebody else bought it, sold for $45. I think I paid 2 bucks for it at uh, Peaches to Beaches. Inside in the office, a Stay Lauder perfume. This sold... Uh, for 40 bucks, I believe this is might be the last thing. Do I still have the old spice left? I don't remember, we'll see inside. I got this from a viewer at Webster's Flea Market. I bought a bunch of perfume from them for $120. And I still have the old spice left, yes. And now all of it's sold. It actually turned out to be a pretty good buy. I had two Chanel's, I had some Dior, I had some Jimmy Choo, I had some other stuff. And uh, they all sold. And this one sold right here for 40 bucks. It did pretty good on it. I think I turned at 120 to buy like close to 400 maybe, so pretty good. Estee Lauder, not really what you think about for a good perfume, but 40 bucks for this, uh, we take that. We definitely uh, take that. And then I think we have one more, one more Alabama NCAA Playmaker Legacy Bradford Exchange uh, with the COAs is in Ben H, this sold for $53. I kind of made up the price on this one because I could not really see anything like it. And when you don't have anything like it, you pretty much own the market. You make up the price and you, you just decide what you want people to pay for it. I paid five bucks for this. It's like a bronze statue. It's in here with the COA. I don't really want to open it. So I'm just going to show you the picture of it on here. And I listed it, I think, for like $75. Here's what it looks like. It's like an Alabama bronze statue playmaker. All right. I, I paid $5 for it. I thought it was cool. Um, when, I, when I looked for it to look it up, I saw similar Bradford Exchange things, uh, but not for Alabama, for the Packers and for other things, selling in the $50 to $100 price range. There was nothing for Alabama anywhere sold, not even on Wharf Points. I decided to list it for $75 bucks and see what happens. And somebody sent me an offer. Uh, I bought this maybe like a month ago. I sent an offer and said, hey, please don't uh, please don't be offended or something. And 53 bucks. I was like, be offended. I'm taking that. <laughs> I paid five dollars for it. I'll take it all day. So there you go. That's that's that right there. So that's all the sales. I got 10 sales on, on, on eBay for six hundred dollars, one on whatnot for nine bucks, six hundred and ninety dollars got the door. Very, very happy with that combined with what I made on what I last night combined with the YouTube. I'm very, uh, very, very happy with the day. I'm going to go pack him up and get him out of here. I'll see you guys. On Subscribe to Billy Flipper.